Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for being here on New Year's Day, the new year of 2020, um, to Conmigo Early uh, Education Center here in Des Moines. Um, my name is Jill Applegate, and I am one of the co-chairs of Iowa's Children's Policy Coalition, who has launched the Caucus for Kids campaign to raise the profile of children's issues during the 2020 uh, presidential election. Um, we are so honored to be here today with uh, Senator Bernie Sanders to talk about why he's running for president and how he'll support and invest in children. Um, so I'm just going to turn it over to you, Senator. Um, can you just first tell us a little bit why you're running, um, sure. what you'll do for kids? Well, thank you very much, Jill. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. Uh, and what you are doing, Jill, in trying to get more focus on children's issues is extremely important because as a nation we don't do that. That's the simple truth. So let me start off by saying that. And he said it better than I can. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Uh, is that we treat, and i got to be honest about this, we treat the children in this country, the wealthiest country in the history of the world, we treat them shamefully. We have the highest rate of childhood poverty of almost any major country on earth. Somewhere around 20% for minority kids, black and Latino, Native American, it is much higher than that. Uh, I will tell you that um, before I made it to Congress, I was mayor of the city of Burlington. And one of the very first things we did, we did it literally days after I was elected, even before I took office, we said to parents in the city, you're concerned about youth issues, come on down. And we had hundreds of parents coming out because the city wasn't doing anything or anywhere near as much as we should for the kids. Over eight years, we built a city-funded child care center. We started after-school programs. We started a little league in a low-income community. We started a youth newspaper, arts programs for the young people. So in general, we do not pay enough attention to children and young people and my administration will change that, and I mean that very sincerely. It's an issue I've worked on my whole life. So what do we do? Uh, and, and I guess I'm going to get into some of the discussion we're going to have uh, later. But we start off being in a child care center, right? And you can correct me if I'm wrong, but what psychologists tell us is that zero through four are the most important years of human development, right? Intellectually and emotionally. And I want you all to think, understand that, how do we treat our children? So all across this country, in Iowa, in Vermont, all across this country, you have millions of working class people. Mom and dad are going off to work. Where are their kids going? And too often, those parents cannot find quality, affordable childcare. Okay? So they're either paying more than they can afford to pay, or the care that their kids are getting is inadequate. And the people who work doing some of the most important work in America, in some cases, do not make as much money as McDonald's worker. Don't have the health care benefits they need, et cetera, et cetera. Because by definition, child care is a labor intensive. You're not going to have one adult for 30 kids. You're going to have one adult for three or four kids. That's expensive. So here is my promise to you, and I say this without any hesitancy, all right? We will move aggressively to high quality, universal, affordable child care for the working families of this country, all right? And that is something that I believe because if we want our kids to do well in school, they're gonna to need to have the intellectual and emotional nourishment they need early on. And by the way, we're also gonna significantly increase funding, triple funding for Title I schools. We are going to move to make sure that child care workers in this country get paid the salaries that they need with federal help so that we can bring people into child care who see it as a great career because the work is so very important they should not have to sacrifice financially, which is often the case right now. Okay? So I don't know if that answers you know, some of what uh, you have in mind, but please uh, look at my record. And not only what I'm saying, look at what I have done uh, as a very, very strong advocate for children uh, in this country. Well, thank you. Yes, that was a great um, encapsulation of 
everything that we work on. So um, we'll, we'll go into our um, more detailed conversation now. We have five topics we'd like to uh, talk about. Um, and the first one is, I know an issue that's very important to you, and it's children's health. And I'm going to turn it over to Jessica to talk about that. 